Hi guys, uh, another quick video about some, some changes I've made and improvements I made to the tool. Last time I, I wanted to sort out uh, the eyes and while I was doing that I also wanted to sort out certain things such being able to deal with asymmetric geometry. Uh, so what I've done here is um, instead of using my head I created a uh, um, a different type of head just by you know moving lattices and, and clusters nothing nothing serious and there's a lot of texture stretching here but at this point I don't I don't really care what I've done here is basically I create a stronger symmetry between the eyes and uh, quite quite a severe delta of the of the teeth and the, and the jaw area the um, the ears are wider the forehead uh, it's it's higher and a little bit more flat it's some deformation, extreme deformation that I wanted to use as a base to, to check and debug the, the, the code. Um, so let's run the tool first. Uh, in this tool uh, I commented out the, the procedure that um, takes care of remapping the control scheme on top of the face. Uh, I'll run that uh, afterwards. i just going to run the tool now. So what it's wh the reason why it took me a little bit longer to deal with the eyes. I wanted the modeler to be able to freely scale up and down, back and forth, you know, move up and down, scale up and down the the, the, the eyes, and I wanted basically never to rely on any pivotal information stored within the transfer node of the eyes, but rather using only shape information, and and the reason is, well, that was my goal first of all, and. Uh, um, the reason is, you know, the pivoting can be a little bit, you know, uh, when we go in and out the pipe, the, the pivot can get lost. So what I'm doing instead, I'm relying uh, completely on the, on the on the topology of the eye, and I'm identified uh, two sets of edge loops that uh, combined together give me the centroid of the eye, because the eye per se is not really a, a sphere, a sphere, so you cannot easily center the pivot. So by finding the centroid and the aiming vector, I was able to replicate the perfect center that allows me a nice rotation around the spherical portion of the eye and then identify the pupil. On top of that, I, I was also extracting the, the blend shape like I've done for any other mesh. So now let me just load the texture. This is going to take forever as usual. Um, so in theory, if I, if I go here, Let's wait for the texture just because it looks pretty here. Um, if I go here, yes, um, basically everything comes through. And you can see that uh, even, even the teeth are, in, are a completely different shape. The blend shapes are performing nicely. Another thing that should work now is basically the eye with a completely new eye position and, and the size. It, it's still performing in, in the right in the right um, oil basically in the right space. These controls are completely remapped and the, and the joints have been retargeted like, like in the previous example in the other videos. Another thing that I've recomputed uh, another thing that I've recomputed uh, yeah it's the it's the the pupil and iris shape. These are just basically two blend shapes that have been retargeted with the new base geo that the modeler in this case myself but the modeler can sculpt. I know that I, when I was checking, I know that here there is some extreme deformation that I might introduce. So here it might be a case of the model going through and clean up certain shapes, specifically here. I've done something really nasty with the lattices just to get something extreme. Um, so the last thing I want to try is basically un uh, uncomment these two lines. This is the procedure that should allow me to retarget the controls. Um, and I should be able to retarget the controls in pose. Let's see if this works. It might break. No, it didn't. So the controls, because because I'm, I'm snapping the, 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 the actual control space, the controls do appear in the same in, in the correct position. You can see that you know this control here has been applied in the right in the right space. And uh, even the jaw has been applied in the right space. Um, so I can zero them out and they should go back to, to where they're supposed to be. Um, 
and the lastly let me know let me see if everything comes through I'm, I'm retargeting the textures with the texture with the very stupid texture right yes so this will happens to be the texture extractor from my head uh, photogrammetry so now this looks really really weird I apologize and let's see if all the uh, details for the wrinkles are coming through they are very very spread apart because I did a terrible job in modeling but that's pretty much it okay that's it for today cheers